My name is Evan Wolf, and I'm just working on my uh, regen radio here. Uh, I'm taking the parts of an old CD player slash AM FM radio and um, just putting stuff together um, based on the schematic. Hopefully have a FET here, uh, LM386 audio amplifier here, uh, volume adjustment, and Zener there, regulate voltage, and there's some uh, wiring on the back. Hey, my name's uh, Evan Wolf, and uh, real quickly, I want to kind of show you uh, my Regen radio. I've been trying to work on this sucker for um, since winter break. It's, that was December. It's March right now. It's the sixth of March to Sunday. Um, something really cool. I was talking to some guys on a net. Um, I'm a ham operator. Talking to some guys on a net, and I found. Um, to just the regen, my sideband radio would start to squeal. So I ran and got my cramp camera. Um, we might be on an odd harmonic, um, is what a guy was just telling me. So I'm gonna see if I can get to squeal like a like a theremin. I, I love the colorful clothes you wear and the way the sunlight plays upon her hair. Um, turn that down for the time being. See if we get in there. So I'm on uh, the 10 meter band, 28.4005. That is uh, megahertz. So that's right where I was talking to these guys. Um, so we'll turn that sound back up a little bit. No signal showed by the, the scale there. Um, also, this awesome clock right here is made by uh, one of my best friends. Um, real quick, my battery's dying on me. Let's see if we get the sucker to work. Controls, capacitors, there's an antenna going outside. It's directly below my other antenna. So you can see like it's... Oh, my radio is going to, my uh, camera is about to die on me, guys. Um, but you can see it picking up. Uh, he, he was really, really good. And it, as you said, it, the rest of the team gets the victory over the Cougars. From that perspective, just taking Andrew out of it, which is almost impossible when you have 30, or 47 points. But your team had a game that they needed to win at home to build some that's disconnecting the antenna. Let's see if I can get. Let's see if I get this thing to oscillate here a little bit. Um, no oscillation there. Let's go up. Up a division. Okay, now you're starting to see that it's oscillating. These are actually sine waves and pull times ten. And there's a nice little sine wave going on for you there. Um, let's see how. 
jack that up a little bit for you. So now I just disconnected from my antenna on top. You're hearing AM broadcast right there, and you can't get it to oscillate by moving the throttle uh, capacitor and the tuning. It just it just overpowers this radio. So now, um, hopefully, there's enough capacitance between um, my my hookup here. So basically, I have an antenna. Um, Following this red line here, it's going over here to my coax. This is going to a 10 meter uh, vertical antenna, and as you see, it's not connected right now. Right there, it's connected, and that's just local AM station. That's that's not what we want. We're going for shortwave here, um, ham band stuff. So. Had a lot of problems, and the source of it comes down to this LM386 audio amp chip. Pulled that sucker out yesterday. Um, I was getting like FM stations and all kinds of different stuff. Uh, local FM station, that is. Um, pulled it out and started getting... Um, I had Radio Cuba and a couple other ones. I'm trying to hook everything back up like I had it yesterday. So we can uh, re get that back. So anyways... Um, we're setting times 10. This is 20 microseconds per division, uh, what it's set on. Um, so if you're, you're pretty smart, you could uh, figure out the, the frequency by taking counting the number of divisions. I'll pump it down one. So let's go. Um, you count the number of divisions between the, the one peak to another peak. Um, you could find how, how long it takes to do one cycle and um, one divided by the amount of time it takes to do one cycle equals your frequency. I did the math on this yesterday. I'm somewhere around, um, I want to say, um, three megahertz. I'm about three megahertz or so. Um, so let, let's see if we get in some funky stuff. Yesterday I was doing some pretty neat cool stuff. That's the throttle there. Hey, it's Seven Wolf. Uh, start off work. Um, got my O scope. Got some leads. Let's see if uh, let's see if we get the regen going tonight. Uh, maybe pick up some ham bands. It's it's like 9:45 or something like that. Um, so it's well into the evening. So we should be able to pick up some shortwave stations. Uh, maybe some guys on um, 80 or 160 meters. So we'll see what we can do. Try not to burn the house down. Right on the edge of oscillating. Frick, man, I bet it bumped with my nose. So 
Unlimited heard every Sunday and also on Tuesdays here on Radio Havana, Cuba. Coming up next is The Real Story with Gerwin Jones. <laughs> Neoliberal parties, the corporate media, a conservative judiciary, all lobbyists, the white elite, and right-wing groups, with generous help from the outside, have ganged up to derail the Brazilian government. And it's only a way to look like a popular uprising against a corrupt regime. <laughs> 